This is Spencer Fisher. Good combination. Why oh, so high? And you're watching send it. He that shook was... his head no. And Fisher said yes, my son. Woo! Thanks for joining us today at Send It. Today we're doing a gun review on the Bagara B14 HMR. HMR, hunter match rifle for you hunters and you long distance shooters. This gun is chambered in 308, and I've seen this gun on videos. I've not done it personally, but I've seen these guns shoot up to a mile with no problems. And uh, later on, I'll show you some videos of uh, us shooting this thing bore sighting. But let's get to the stock of this gun. Uh, before that, coming out of the box, it was just over nine pounds. And in my opinion, it's a ramped up version of the Remington 700 with a lot of interchangeable parts. Uh, stock of this is a mini chassis integrated into the Bagara molded stock to give you repeatable bedding and accuracy. Moving on to the length of pole, it's 14 and a quarter with all three spacers in, and then 13 and a quarter without the spacers. So for your length of pole, it's gonna be variable, uh, depending on what how many spacers you wanna put in there, but it's easy to remove and or add. You just take a Phillips head, unscrew the bolts, take out or put on what you need, and put it back on. Then we have uh, sling mounts on the bottom of these. I added uh, a Picatinny rail on the bottom of this to add a bipod because I, I like that. But it also has a cheek piece here uh, that rises. Yeah, you can raise it or lower it to your specifications here. Moving on to the grip. The grip, the texture of this grip feels really gritty. I like that. Uh, this whole piece, this stock doesn't feel cheap or plastic. You knock on it, you don't hear that clicky, hollow sound. It's really dependable and durable. Moving on to the trigger. The trigger is a Bagara curved trigger, and uh, it's set at five pounds with factory set, but we got it down to three to two. What, what was it, Dan? I think it was two. Yeah, two, two pounds. And it's super light to touch for you, all you long range shooters out there. Moving on to the AICS magazine. Holds five in the magazine, one in the chamber to send it down range. Uh, moving up, it's a two nut buck. So, and it's easy detachable. So it has a 90 degree bolt throw and you can really detach this by push the button and pulling out the, the bolt. And to put it back in, same thing. You just push it in and it receives it right back. Let's go on down to the barrel. The barrel is what Bagar is known for. Out of Bagar, Spain, they're known for their minerals as well as the barrels. They stand behind the barrels and it's sub MOA at a hundred yards. Uh, this particular barrel in 308 is a 20 inch barrel with a one in 10 twist at the end of this with a thread protector on it. We got some video that we shot earlier that uh, we were really surprised doing the bore sight and I hope you enjoy the video. All right guys, so the first thing we do for bore sighting is we take out the bolt. My old buddy Paul Painter showed me how to do this. And you wanna make sure you get your gun snug inside a harness that the barrel won't move and the butt won't move and you want to bore sight down the peep and get it on paper and peep down and make sure that your peep sight and your crosshairs are at least on paper to take the shot and we're pretty close and I hope I don't bump the scope any so either we got incredibly lucky and that was just my bore sighting and then and my buddy Paul Painter showed me how to do that I think we got lucky uh, we're gonna fire four more shots and see if they're all in the same group and come back and check it out in a second Take a look. You can see just by bore sighting, uh, I was hoping just to get on paper at 50 yards, but you can see how close we are and we'll dial it in to get more accurate. But remember on a scope, it will show you directions left and right, up and down. Remember if you're shooting up and to the left and you wanna bring it to the center, you have to go the opposite direction on the scope, right? So if it shows you uh, that you wanna go right, you would actually turn left. And if you wanted to go down, 
you'd go up in just the opposite. Just keep that in mind. All right, one I thing I didn't go over was the scope that we're shooting. We're also backed it up to 100 yards now. It's a SWFASS, and the, the uh, powers on it is 12 by 42. There is no side parallax on it. It's all in the front in here, and your windage and elevation are on the side. But it doesn't have any a bunch of extra fancy stuff. This thing is fully metal, and it doesn't have any slop in the turn. It's a knife rigid turn. When you turn the knob, you get a good clear focus. Yeah, for $300, you're not gonna find a better scope for this one right here. Uh, it's really tough, and uh, we're gonna see how it does out to 100 yards now. Let's go take a look. All right, so I ended up hitting a flyer right there at 100 yards. That was all me. I could feel the pole in it. But uh, you can still see it's on paper from a bore side at 50 yards. We moved it back to 100 yards. I should have shot more groups to see where I was consistent at, but that was me pulling. But uh, I hate wasting ammo. But uh, I, I think that anything within 100 yards is dead. So Make sure uh, you push subscribe and like and follow us on YouTube and help me build my channel.